Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to solo the perched queen on a paladin. The same strategy can be used on any vocation, though it is easiest on a mage. The perched queen is killable during the Winterlight Solstice event, which runs from December 22nd until January 10th. As this event goes on, it is harder to find a team to kill the boss, but luckily it is easy enough to solo. The trick is, they'll need to make summons in the boss room. If you're a knight or a paladin, this means you need to take some corpses into the boss fight with you and some animate dead runes. You should be able to get away with one skeleton, but I usually summon two. Go down into the room and summon the skeletons and trap them with a firebomb. This can be done with any summon that won't walk over field runes if you want to choose something else as a mage. Once the summons are trapped, the boss fight is the same as usual. I'll walk through the mechanics of this boss fight quickly and offer you some tips when doing it solo. To complete this boss fight, you'll need to use the bonfire as soon as you enter the boss room to get a torch. You'll have to keep collecting this throughout the fight, as it will disappear eventually. You'll walk on the vortex of nature, return to a leaf golem, and run to the right side of the room. If you step on the grass, a tree wall will appear. Using this will create branches, you need to pick them up and use them on the southern bonfire. If the southern bonfire is not lit, you'll need to use your torch on it. Once 20 branches have been added to this bonfire, a warm fire will appear. You must use your torch on this bonfire to light it again, and then use it to become a burning man. Lure the warm fire next to the perch queen, and it will damage her. Do this four times, and the ice will be melted around her, and she'll be damaged with attacks. Never go to the northern part of the room, unless you are a burning man, or you'll be instantly teleported out of the boss fight. Now for some tips when doing this solo. Make sure to refresh your firebombs so the skeletons don't get loose and start running around. If you hold the branches too long, they'll begin to disappear. I like to run to the right, make the tree wall, run back to become a leaf golem again. Then, create the branches, create another tree wall, then collect those branches as well. This will give you 10 branches at once to put on the fire. Do not stand next to the frozen corpses in the room when you are the leaf golem. Every few seconds, these frozen corpses appear around the room replacing the blocks of ice. A few seconds after that, they'll do an ice exori around themselves that will cause you to lose your form if you're standing next to them. Lastly, the perch queen can only be damaged by elemental damage. Bring elemental arrows or an elemental weapon if you're a knight to make this last stage easier. Though it is possible to kill her just using some field runes and GFBs, it will be a lot slower. Hope this video can help you complete the perch queen if you're having trouble finding a team. Let me know if you have any other questions about this boss fight. Thanks for watching, and happy hunting!